never have to seal your granite ever again. Granite Shield restores old granite to look better than it ever did and permanently seals granite, making it smoother, shinier, and maintenance-free. My granite was sealed by Granite Shield in August of 2005. It's never been sealed again. It's as shiny as the day it was sealed by Granite Shield. All I've ever used is an ammonia-based glass cleaner and occasionally clean and shine. And I never wipe up spills immediately. On this piece of granite, we're showing how the water is starting to penetrate. And uh, just a standard uh, almond mauve granite. And if you can see the water right there where it's starting to darken up. And uh, just give you an idea that, you know, it's not a pre sealed granite. And then we will clean this up and put the sealer on afterwards and try to show you the angle of deflection of the water uh, and how it will improve after the seal is on it. In this example we can see the reflection of the light in the granite top and this is before sealing. Now after we put our first application on we will show the uh, same difference in the color of the stone and the lighting. The first step of granite shield has been applied and I don't know if you can tell by the video but it's quite obvious that the shine has already increased considerably and uh, there's also a little more color showing in the granite, a slight enhancement. Uh, we'll be back for step two. This is the same granite countertop after doing the second step. And as you can see, the reflection of the lights is getting even brighter and more like a mirror surface. And we have with us today the homeowner, Mac. Uh, Mac, what was the first thing you noticed about the granite after we put the first coat on in the other bathroom? Well, the shine picked up quite a bit. You could see the reflection of the faucet handles and stuff a lot brighter. They were brought brighter than they were. But uh, And the smoothness of it is getting... It's getting smoother all the time. And this is after two steps in uh, this bathroom that we're doing. And also, Mac, you were checking the feel of your other sink prior to me doing our cleaner, clean and seal, on the uh, sink itself. What did you think of that? <laughs> made a definite improvement. The other one really feels gritty, and I thought it was clean. <laughs> <laughs> Don't show my wife. <laughs> <laughs> well, we'll leave some clean and shine for you to uh, let her clean with, so she'll enjoy... Uh, uh, the benefits of it. Thank you. Thank you, Matt. Uh, we are here with Mac again. This is the third application uh, process of the granite shield. And Mac, what kind of difference do you see after the third step? Well, it's even stepped up more. The, the reflection is even greater than it was. <laughs> now, what kind of percentage would you estimate it's increased its shine? I'd say it's increased at least probably 20 to 25 percent more. That's excellent. Well, we have two more steps to do, so we'll come back uh, after we do. We're going to do a half step so you can actually feel the difference between the actual carbon crystal that we're going to apply next in this standard three-step process we've gone through. We'll be back in a minute. Well, we're here with Mac again after the fourth application of the granite shield process. Now, Mac, we've sealed half of this with the carbon crystal coating. Would you feel the right side of the granite and tell me how that feels? <laughs> That's nice. <laughs> okay, now push real hard, drag your hand across it. Okay, now do the left side. Oh yeah, feel the difference. What do you feel? Well, this has got more drag on it. It's not uh, smooth. It's smooth? This is over here, Yeah. the right side. This side here has more of a resistance, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. It smooths out over here. So it's actually an improvement on the stone oh, yeah, itself? You, you can feel it, yeah. Excellent. Thank you, Mac. Okay, we just finished the last uh, two steps of the granite shield process, which in this case was a five-step. And as you can see, the reflection of the light bulbs is as prominent as ever. 
And Matt, you were saying you thought the shine increased about 25% overall. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> and the smoothness of the granite? <laughs> yeah, it increased <laughs> a lot. <laughs> okay, and uh, we're going to uh, just do a little water test here to show. I don't know if we can see this on the camera. We'll do a zoom. But uh, what is that water doing right there? Okay, we are here with Matt again on the fifth and final step of the granite shield process. And uh, just in reiteration, Matt, you said the shine increased about 25%. Oh, yeah. And the uh, smoothness of the granite? That's really improved. I mean, that is slick. <laughs> now, we poured some water on the granite there about, uh, what, five minutes ago or so? And uh, what's, that, what's that water doing on the granite? Absolutely nothing, not going anywhere. Just beat it up. And uh, go ahead and blow on that water, see what happens. <laughs> it blows around, slides across it. <laughs> so, uh, uh, are you satisfied? What You had mentioned that you were intrigued by the granite shield process. For what reason? Well, it's a life, they say it's lifetime. So, you only have to do it one time. Rather than like a bit rather the other stuff that I was told you have to do about every six months or so. And the unique thing about the granite shield process is the best cleaners for granite shield is what destroys a regular sealer. Alcohol, uh, Windex, ammonia. Uh, but we have our own cleaning product that we're going to leave with you today. It's called Clean and Shine. And we did your sink in it earlier and you noticed how much smoother and shinier oh, yeah. it made your sink. See the water just beat it up in there now. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> I am impressed. I'll say that. <laughs> well, thank you, sir. We're going to uh, leave that bottle of clean and shine here. No. <clears throat> Go ahead and put it right on the countertop there. <clears throat> and uh, one more show of how smooth the granite is. <laughs> that bottle will just keep sliding until it falls off. Well, thank you, Matt, and have a great day. Thank you. Hi, I'm Craig Phillips, the owner and founder of Granite Shield. Today, I'm going to show you how to use our do-it-yourself sealing kit. It's as simple as one, two, three, four, five. So let's get started. This is a light-colored granite. And for light colored granites, we just start with number one. And this is our technique that you're going to be using. If you use your hand and cup it to spray, you won't get any overspray. You put a little bit on your hand and then you just rub it in. And you can actually feel how far it will go before you have to apply some more. And so you just rub it in to the stone and you will see on a light colored stone it'll start to turn dark which it's starting to do now and with your gloved hand you can actually feel any defects, well, I shouldn't say defects uh, any dirt, caulking, epoxy left over from the installation of your granite or just from everyday use. Alright we have found some food residue on the countertop so we just take a standard razor blade at a 45 degree angle and just slide it to remove any residue. I can feel it. Again this is from the installation caulking and epoxies and they just scrape off easily as long as your sealer is on the countertop. There we go. So set that aside and just continue applying the sealer. And then again, when you find more residue, scrape it off. Around your sink area, you want to spray and then take your fingers and roll it onto the edge of the stone. Because you really want to make sure you get everything you can sealed up.
we've finished applying step one to the counter, we're going to smooth it over evenly, make sure we didn't miss anything, just using a white terry cloth towel. And we're going to go around all the edges. Just like cleaning your countertop, that's all you have to do. finish wiping down the countertop with the white terry cloth towel we're going to switch to a microfiber towel and we're going to remove the sealer and its residue just finished putting on GS1, which is the first step on the light colored granite. And I just want to show you that we started with a full bottle and we've only used approximately one ounce. And we just sealed 40 square feet with it. So a standard kitchen, uh, this product will seal uh, two to three standard kitchens. Now on our light granite, the next step required is three we don't need to for this process. We'll be using it for another uh, colored granite. So we're just going to spray the backsplash, rub it in, and then wipe it off. Now we're going to continue all the way around the kitchen with the exact same process that we did the first step. Make sure when you're doing the edges you roll and get the edges very well because those are actually more porous now than the surface because of the cutting and polishing. Just like in the first step, after we finish our application, we're going to rub it in with a white terry cloth towel. Make sure that we've re covered all the surface. After you spread it around with one side, you can turn it over for the dry side and then finish buffing off the residue. And just make sure that you can look down in the light and you don't see any smear of any kind. And that will guarantee that you're going to get a perfect, smooth, clean seal after you're done. Now we finished with number three. We're going to go to number four. And do the same procedure all over again. Now one thing while you're applying, make sure that your countertop stays wet during your application because when it starts to dry, it's time to pop, time to buff. And you'll know it when you look down in the light, you'll see the granite, the sealer half dry. That only takes about five minutes or less, depending on humidity and temperature. So always look down at it and make sure that it hasn't started to dry on you. If it does, then just buff it off. And if it does go dry before you can get to it, you can add more sealer to it and then buff it off. And it will clean off the residue. It's just more work if you have to do it that way. 
Now we finished buffing off number four with the microfiber towel. We're going to apply number five. Again, you'll be able to feel the tension under your glove on where your sealer is. <clears throat> and then when you stick, you need to add more. standard 26 inch deep countertop as you can see here it takes one two three pumps and that's more than enough chemical to do the whole depth and about one feet wide after you're done applying again use the white terry cloth towel to rub it in and spread it around and then you'll be ready <coughs> for the next step which is actually going back to number four and I'll show you the proper application process for that now we finished rubbing in number five we're going to go back to number four and all we're going to do is spritz it on and just rub it in with a towel Just making sure that we coat the whole thing thoroughly. <clears throat> and this is your final step in a light granite seal. finished rubbing in number four into the countertop and now all we have to do is wipe it off with a microfiber towel and you'll have a beautiful shiny smooth countertop just look at that shine Now we're done buffing number four, we're going to do a water test to see how repellent our seal is. As you can see, we've got a good bead, just rolls away, leaves no residue, completely sealed, no penetration, no darkening, the countertop is done. Unlike granite, 24 hours after it's been applied, you can then use your aftercare cleaner, which is called Clean and Shine, and it's as simple as spray, wipe, and buff, giving you even smoother, cleaner, shinier countertops. Now we're done sealing our 40 square feet of granite, and if you get a close-up of these bottles, you'll see how very little we used to do this application. And again, we used GS4 twice, so we've used the most out of that bottle. And as you can see, this kit will do 40 square feet over and over and over again. We're about to finish this project off with uh, sealing it with our Clean and Shine, which you can use daily uh, or monthly. It doesn't take very much. And also to make your sealing job easier, we have the buffer available online from Granite Shield. 
So let me show you how easy this is to do. Just a light mist, spread it around. Lay out your microfiber towel. Turn on your buffer and just let it spin. Nice and easy. Keep your towel underneath it. And when you're finished, your granite will be smooth and silky. Thank you from Granite Shield and happy sealing.